Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. Uh, for those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Brad. I go by the Whalen, and this is my vlog on Truck Venture. Camping, overlanding, having a good fun time in my Raptor off-road. And if you had tuned into the last vlog, which I will link here, uh, you'll know I talked about the evolution of the truck and what we're doing to upgrade the various components uh, that I want to make the best possible pre-lander I can make, which is that cross between overland and pre-runner. And it's been a little while since I've given you guys an update, so I wanted to touch base with you here. I've been working a lot behind the scenes to kind of get things moving. Unfortunately, order times for parts is taking longer than I'd like. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have the rack and the tent uh, first, so we'll be able to do that setup uh, initially, and then we're gonna have to get to the suspension later because that stuff's gonna take a much longer lead time to order and get in uh, from shipping and what have you. Uh, so, uh, with that, we have a little bit of a wait on truck build action, but uh, we also have some cool partnerships that, that uh, we're going to hopefully be working with in the future the, to announce at later dates as well, uh, related to all those builds. So I'm very excited about that. A lot of stuff happening in the background off camera uh, to get that going. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, what I want to use this particular vlog for is a little departure from my normal content. Uh, instead of off-roading truck action, I want to talk about a question that I get asked a lot uh, in either YouTube comments or in DMs I get on Instagram, uh, the Whalen Raptor on Instagram, uh, which is questions pertaining to the camera equipment I use and the you know editing software, the techniques I use for both video and photography. Uh, a lot of those questions are coming up. So I'm going to utilize this time to go into detail about all the equipment I use to film this vlog. Uh, and then utilize some of the B-roll I have, because I've got archives of it, uh, to specifically call out different techniques and different things that I do uh, with uh, creating this vlog. So without further ado, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be right back. Okay, special shout out here for my in-dash uh, camera mounted apparatus, uh, if you will. So we have the Built Right Industries dash mount device, which is just solid in there in the dash. Connected to that, of course, I have my 67 Designs phone holder uh, and then a generic mount camera mount for my Sony camera. So I don't have to hold the Sony when I vlog. Uh, at times from uh, the truck. And then behind that, the ever so important uh, GoPro mount, camera mount on dash, so that I can utilize for a lot of my intros actually. Uh, and uh, off to the side here, we have another mount that holds my iPad mini that I use for guide GPS as well. And then special shout out to the unit in R3 in the back. If you're curious, that is a radar detector. Take a lot of long trips, very handy to have. So, uh, that's that. Uh, we're going to get back to the rest of the camera equipment now. Just wanted to show you how I mount stuff in the truck. Okay, welcome to my makeshift garage studio where I've laid out all of the equipment I use for vlogging. And this is pretty much the same equipment I've used for the last two years with a few minor upgrades along the way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of give you an overview of everything on the table. And then I want to go kind of zoomed in on a particular tool that I want to highlight and then showcase how I use it and maybe with some B-roll footage uh, of it in action and the footage I've gotten with it and then my buttery smooth voice for voiceover because I know everybody loves hearing my voice. So, uh, starting on this end and going this direction, uh, we have the Mavic Air 2 drone, which is probably the newest tool I have in my camera equipment. Uh, I, this replaced the Mavic Pro, which I originally had. Love this drone. Fantastic drone to use, way easier to use, and uh, just a much more smooth operation than the Pro, uh, the Mavic Pro was. Uh, and uh, uh, the case I got from Harbor Freight, actually. You could go spend the money on a Pelican case for this thing, but Harbor Freight's got a good deal on some good cases that work for this particular use case, and I went with that. And I like that better for the drone than the soft case. I had a soft case for the other Mavic before. Hard case is way better, especially on the trail. Uh, for the drones. Uh, now moving on in, we have lens. I've got, this is one lens to demonstrate a couple of lenses I have, but this one is the Sam Yang 2.8 14 millimeter lens, super wide lens, uh, very inexpensive lens to find, 
an amazing lens for night photography, which we'll get to uh, in a highlight. Uh, so that's a lens. And then of course I have GoPros. I started out with the Hero 7 GoPro, uh, and then I've upgraded since to the Hero 8 GoPro, and I've used both of these extensively on the trip. I have this one on a bit of a Gorilla Pod or Joby Pod, I guess it is. Maybe that is the same thing. I don't know. Anyway, uh, really cool little handy tripod. You can attach it to tree branches, attach it to trucks uh, when you're out and about, uh, and set it up on a rock if you need uh, to get that shot when you're out in the wilderness and you want to get a nice shot with a GoPro. Uh, very handy tripod. And then I have a suction cup mount, which has been attached to the outside of my truck many times and going down many trails at very high rate of speed. Very fun one to have. Um, moving on this direction here, I have my laptop, which is a Mac Pro circa 2019 era Mac Pro and let's say hard drives that carry all my media, uh, rugged hard drives, and actually all my vlogs exist right here in these two hard drives. Hmm, imagine that. Uh, and then I have a low pro bag to carry all my gear in, a uh, nice rugged bag, good to carry on the trail if you need to put a backpack on and you're gonna go on a hike or you're gonna go in, which I did a lot in Yellowstone. Uh, so this is an excellent uh, bag to have, can hold just about everything I have in there aside from the drone. Uh, and honorable mention to the scarf, by the way. So you know, you know. Uh, next, I just want to highlight too, uh, not exactly camera gear, but a nice flashlight with a magnetic end to it and easy maneuverable flashlight. Super great for camp lighting because you know, you got to be on the move and you can't carry around a full production studio with you everywhere you go. So you got to use what you can. And this, uh, like light from Harbor Freight, Braun light, I don't know, been great for camp cooking and camp, uh, lighting, uh, for videos. Now, one thing that I ha can't show because I'm using it to film this vlog right now is my Sony, which we're gonna use the GoPro to film. So the Sony camera is my main workhorse and it's been an amazing, amazing camera for the entire time that I've used it since day one of my vlog. And I did a lot of research trying to figure out which camera to use and I went with the Sony a7 III and with the 24 to 105 f4 lens on it. And it is just a fantastic camera. I have not one bad thing to say about it. I've loved using it the whole time. Um, and yeah, you guys also get a look at my messy garage, but hey, uh, that's life. And the microphone on it is a Rode microphone. I had a smaller Rode microphone before and I always had a lot of wind noise problems with it. This one's a little better. I am still searching for a great microphone solution, but it's really hard to run and gun with a magnificent microphone. Kind of like the lapel idea, but haven't done that yet. Anyway, Sony a7 III, amazing camera. Also, note, light panels. Kind of nice for a little home studio. I wish I could take these on the trail more, but that's a little much. Now for a deeper look into my favorite vlogging tools. If you're looking for an even deeper technical explanation of any of the things I mentioned in this vlog, feel free to leave a comment below and I may address that in a future vlog. There are also plenty of gear review vlogs out there on specific equipment. My drone, the Mavic Air 2. To be honest, I was blown away with the ease of use of this drone compared to the Mavic Pro, which I felt had a lot more clunky operation. As a side note, I happen to be a Part 107 licensed drone pilot, which if you're not savvy to what that is, it's a knowledge-based test you take with the FAA to be able to fly drones commercially. Comment below if you want to know more about that. As far as the footage and function goes of this drone, it shoots in 4K and has really intuitive tracking features. The speed is adequate. It's not as fast as some large cinema quality drones and you won't get the same image quality as you would out of them either. But for a consumer level product, it's really excellent. I love the functionality for tracking shots of the Raptor and the quality of breathtaking landscapes. Beyond the ease of use and quality, its small size and simple setup time lend to overlanding where space is a premium. Whenever you use a drone, whether you're a Part 107 pilot or not, be sure to follow the rules published by the FAA. Apps like Before You Fly and AirMap can be helpful tools to make sure you're okay to fly. The GoPro. Ah yes, the quintessential action sports camera of choice for over a decade. Compact and portable with 4K video, these things are tough as nails and offer the ability for some clever angles and shots that would have been unconventional even a decade ago. And with the improved image stabilization in the Hero 7 model and beyond, it makes even driving down rough trails look stable. Another great benefit to the GoPro is the hyperlapse feature, 
which I use often in camp to speed up the storytelling process with the more mundane activities. No, not hooning the bolts off my raptor in the desert, more like setting up in camp, putting up tents, or cooking. Overall, the GoPro is an obvious, solid choice that can allow for shots you otherwise would not be able to achieve. Now on to the workhorse, the Sony a7 III. I can't say enough positive things about this camera. The 4K video, the ability to use auto or manual control, the super smooth slow motion, the ability to use interchangeable lenses, all make this camera an awesome tool. This thing has literally traveled thousands of miles with me filming every vlog over the last two years. Yes, one drawback is the fact there is no flip screen, a feature a lot of vloggers adore, but I frankly don't miss that. And not only is this camera great for video, it's naturally amazing at photography too. Have a look. Okay, so filming is all finished. What next? After the laborious task of uploading and cataloging all the raw footage, it's time to edit. For this, I use my MacBook Pro and the Adobe Suite. This comes with a monthly subscription, so prepare your wallet. The primary tools are Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and After Effects. Media Encoder and Audition are also helpful tools. After uploading and obsessively cataloging all your footage, you can lay out a timeline and begin to construct your story add music, and adjust the look, and then painstakingly make all the fine-tuned adjustments before exporting and you're ready to post your blog. There's also the matter of the thumbnail, and that's where Photoshop comes in. You can either pull a still from the video, or if you plan it out, you'll already have that thumbnail built ahead of time. Thank you for watching this vlog. Uh, this has been a little bit of an unconventional vlog for me, so I appreciate you guys sticking around, checking out a little bit of behind the scenes of how I make these vlogs happen. Uh, if you like the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.